Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Born and raised in the heart of Texas, the gospel supergroup is taking the genre by storm. And with Heavenly Harmonies placing them at the forefront of New Age Gospel, these four amazing siblings have become an undeniable force. But don't take our word for it, child. Listen and learn for yourselves. Now joining us in the circle, the Falls Group. When my way gets a little cloudy and my nights um, get a little rough and lonely no matter what's going on you give me peace you comfort me you make it better your love never leaves and you don't stop and you never change and you say the same lord you do it for me you do it for me you do it for me More than amazing. <laughs> Y'all just woke me all the way back well, up. Well, come on. <laughs> you got my life all the way together. Well, okay. now you all have been singing together obviously since probably we were born. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but when did you get your when did you hit your stride? Like when did you know this is what we want to do? This is how we're going to do it. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Um, yeah, I deeper. think that um, <laughs> it was actually after we made the decision to start doing it as a group when my mom and my dad sat us down and they were like, look, is this really something you want to do? You're going to have to make sacrifices. You're going to have to really give some things up. I mean, this is serious. We had to think about it like, hmm, is this really? what we want to do? Yeah, when we got our first call, it was over. Yeah, yeah, call, yeah. People are like, hey, we want to book y'all. So what y'all going to do? We was like, all right, let's go. Well, yeah, I didn't do nothing <laughs> anyway. I was getting D's and C's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't wait. That's true. That's true. Right, look, I ain't and, fine. And, and with that, you guys are still very, very young, and yes. but yet you are still gospel artists. Mm -hmm. How do you differentiate that and still trying to figure out your individuality as gospel artists and still being young adults? Mm -hmm. I will say that this has gotten easier as you get older. Because when you're going through middle school, high school, and even college sometimes, it's like everyone around you is influencing you and you're still discovering who you're going to be. Mm -hmm. But as you get older, it's easier to walk in, figure out where you want to be as opposed to where everybody else is going. So you yeah. have to choose whether you're going to blend in or stand out and be yourself and go where you want to go. Right. And what we've kind of found out is that it doesn't matter if you're old or young, it is still a thing to, to, to try to live right and try to be cool at the same yeah. time. Absolutely. But we, yeah. I think that we've, we've gotten opportunity um, to kind of figure out that balance to be like, I, I still like to, I still like right. to really and have a good yeah. time or whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> also, I have morals, I have values, yeah. and God is first for me. Exactly. And that's yeah, just that's what it is. And that's just it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool because I said so. Okay, because I said so. I said so. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys have seen that Kirk Franklin, he recently had a post with his father mm -hmm. that he had never known. And he was talking about forgiveness, and he was very transparent in his post. Yeah. As as a young artist, how important do you feel? Um, how important do you think it is to be transparent in your music, and you know, just when you're talking to people like us? I feel like in this day and age, mm -hmm. people want to be relatable, yes. mm -hmm. but they're not relatable with things that they've actually experienced. Yeah. It's just you know, talk or whatever. Yeah. I think for us, transparency, transparency has been the thing that we've been shown in our own household. Mm -hmm. It's been the thing that we've tried to implement in our music, in our daily lives. You know, I like to tell people from experience what I've gone through, mm -hmm. so they know like you're not going to stay stuck in this. You can overcome and you can mm -hmm. make it yeah. through right. too. That it, it's important for people to see that there are other people like them. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely, I agree. Well, we've got more with the Walls Group when we yay. return. This is the circle. Yay. 
super, super group, the Wow's group. Yes, we're going to dig into the dirt just for yeah, a little let's bit. Let's get just on into it. Okay. okay. Uh, the word on the street is that you guys are doing something with growing up hip hop. So what's that all about? Well, we are uh, um, being featured uh, with Lil Mama on okay. the song. Okay, super fun. And she's so cool. She's so, 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 yeah. cool, though. She's and so she's fun oh, but, um, and talented. Oh. But she reached out. She was like, I, I saw you guys on, on Instagram, and I was like, I want to work with them. We were like, what? Wow. Hey, man, turn up. So we are on there having a good time with her and working with her and being cool with her, and that's that. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you guys can be on the show like that to show mm -hmm. young people that you love the Lord yeah. and yeah, yeah, be yeah. talented. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like that. Um, but are there any other things outside of music that you guys see yourselves doing together or individually? I have plans to um, start plans. Um, my own uh, beauty bar business. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. fun, fun. I love makeup, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, me. Um, I like fashion, mm -hmm. and um, I like um, sports, so, you know, I might want to try to be somebody's coach or open my own, like, facility mm -hmm. for the young people out here in these streets. So, I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Out here in these streets. Um, I am a, an, I'm an advocate for people to fully heal yes. um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. So I have a conference coming up in November um, to help people in in church and as well as out of church mm -hmm. to kind of heal from the things of their past, whether mm -hmm. it be rejection, abandonment, mm -hmm. or or broken homes, or molestation, or mm -hmm. whatever happened to yeah. them, to help them understand that not only we're going to have church, but I have l a licensed counselors, therapists, and life coaches who are there, so after yeah. all of that is happening, you still have help afterwards. Okay. So that's so that's amazing doing. that you guys are doing things outside of just singing, mm -hmm. everybody people see you guys in all genres. And we're happy to have you guys here, and to keep up with upcoming tour dates, and more of what's going on with The Walls Group, be sure to visit their website at thewallsgroup.org. And the conversation always continues on Sister Sarah TV and all social media platforms. Yeah.